Hey everybody, Jay Barino here. Welcome back. StarCraft Remastered. The Iron Fist, Emperor's Flight, Head and Iyer, let's go. UED Flagship, Alexander, en route to the planet Iyer. This map might be as bad as the last one, but there won't be any lockdown. Captain, we have tracked the fugitives Minsk and Raynor to the devastated Protoss homeworld of Iyer. Apparently, these two have taken shelter within a fortified Protoss encampment that lies at the base of a fully functional warp gate. I don't understand this. Why would the Protoss harbor these men? I have no idea, Gerard. But the Protoss aren't our only problem. Our sensors have identified multiple Zerg brutes surrounding the Protoss base. Presently, the brutes seem to be passive, but there's no telling what might set them off. Should the broods attack, we'd be hard-pressed to hold them at bay. I see. It is a risk we'll need to take. Minsk represents a considerable threat to our agenda and must be eliminated. Captain, you will focus your attack against the Rebel Command Center in the middle of the Protoss encampment. That must be where Minsk and Raynor are hiding. We will deploy our own Valkyrie frigates and tighten up our air defenses. Vice Admiral Stu Kraft and Lieutenant Duran will provide cover for your forces and ensure that no external threats interfere with your mission. Okay, destroy Raynor's command center. We're just destroying command centers left and right this, this whole campaign, really. Let's watch the awesome opening. Valkyrie prepared. Oh, yes. This has got to be my favorite opening to any mission. Just of all of all of StarCraft. It's so it's so neat with the introduction of the Valkyries with the tanks getting dropped on the high ground. And then your base just floating in. OK, you know, what would be really cool is if we don't lose tanks to these mutalisks. But no, it's cool. Let's just uh, let's just let it happen. You know what? No, we're restarting. It's just RNG whether that happens or not. I'm not going to lose early tanks because of some stupid AI thing here. So come on. Let's get these Mutalists Valkyrie this time, Valkyries. Down. I refuse. All right, Mutalists, come on. Step to me. Let's go. Yes. That's right. I want you all over here. There's still some over here. Oh, come on. Come on, get them. We may actually gain control of them before it's too late. Come on. There we go. There we go. Please. There we go. Okay, we saved the tanks. That's all I care about. And now we can get started. So we could try to do this off of one base, but it's going to be tricky, so I probably will not actually do that. We get attacked from multiple areas. This is a tough map. I don't... This is where I start to kind of lose memory of exactly what's going on with these maps. But either way, let's just get mining. We're supply blocked significantly, so let's just start making depots two at a time. We do have these tanks on the high ground, which is nice. We can repair them, but, you know, for right now, let's just not be supply blocked. Let's get our base all set up. Doesn't really matter, I think, where this uh, barracks goes. Let's put it back here. And then let's make sure that our factory has enough room to spawn units so that they don't get stuck. Always something that I'm constantly aware of. Okay, come on down here. We need more depots. Okay, let's make another one over here. Okay, so those are our initial depots. These tanks are in a great position, but there's going to be air attacks. We just cover them with the Valkyries. We leave some SCVs up here, make some turrets. And we're in good shape because we did start with... Two dropships. I mean, sure. Thanks. Thanks, game. That's what I always wanted. Two dropships. So we just dump these guys off. We make a couple turrets. We repair these things. We don't have to repair them. We just make a couple turrets and we're square. Let's go. Okay. Again, the key is making sure that we're not just losing stuff for no reason. Wow, we're still supply blocked. Okay, let's throw this one down. We're going to drop this SCV up here. There may be a ramp up here on the other side. I don't remember. But anyway, we have to defend ourselves pretty heavily against the Zerg over here, so... Additional supply depots required. I just wanted to make sure I'm close enough to this. I think I think I am. I wouldn't have I wouldn't have landed 
super far away if I didn't have to, right? Yeah, okay, so that's... That's fine. Still supply blocked, actually. Okay, no problem, and then we're gonna go ahead and set up, uh, probably two bunkers to just close up this, this area. We got the tanks on the high ground, which is awesome. In fact, I'm gonna move them a little closer. These as well. And if we can get this, these uh, turrets set up in time before the Zerg attack us, then, you know, we're in great shape. We could even put bunkers up here if we wanted. Okay, so before we repair these, let's go ahead and set up some turrets. We don't have the minerals, that's okay. We're going to be supply blocked again pretty soon. Okay, I'm I'm sort of prepared. We've got air defense in by way of these Valkyries, so we don't need to make tons of turrets up here or anything. Let's just go ahead and get one right there. We've got the bunker. Now, the nice thing is that the Zerg and the Protoss will try to kill each other before they get too crazy with us. Now, we could try to kill the Zerg outright, but that will make the Protoss focus on us. Or, we can take a base that's up here, but it's pretty hard to defend. So, I'm thinking we take the base. I'm, th I'm leaning towards taking the base. Let's just go ahead and again set up... Well, let's just go ahead and repair this. I'm just like, let's just go ahead and do this. Let's just go ahead and do that. Listen. We're supply blocked. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Jay Barino. We're embarrassing ourselves right now. We did start with siege mode. That's nice. How do we want to approach this mission? We've done nukes twice in a row. We could do nukes again. It's pretty neat. Uh, we really, I think we just, we need the second base, but I can't take the second base until I would say I get another three tanks out or so. We probably don't need as many tanks as we have up here realistically, but it's not a bad idea to have them. And they will cover us from any hydro incoming hydralisks or ultralisks or what have you, as long as they don't try to flood over through this area, which would be incredibly irritating, but they may do it. Okay, and then again, we've got the Valkyries pretty much to cover us until we're ready to attack. The Valkyries cost a lot of supplies, so that's why we started so severely supply blocked. Okay, and then we're just going to make more Marines. Maybe a couple Fire Bats. We need an Armory. We can build that here. Again, it doesn't matter if we block in our Starport, or, for that, or our uh, Engineering Bay for that matter. But we're, like, nowhere near having enough minerals to do anything at this point. So we're just going to stay locked up on our base for a while. And we want to leave the uh, the science vessel relatively close here so that it, we can spot any defilers and hit them with an irradiate if we see them come in. But I, I'll probably miss them, let's be straight. They give you a really nice starting force here. What I may do is just unsiege one or two of these tanks so that I can bring them with me to take the other base. In fact, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So grab this. Grab this. I'm not I'm not I think they were trying to drop units up here actually. I'm not sure. Input coordinates. Okay. And then unload these here. I would like more marines. And then again, the key is we need I mean, we need enough units not only to break into that area. Yeah, see they're trying to drop units up here, which is bad news. We need to we need to Keep this all locked up. We could put we could put bunkers up here, but I do not want to. Hundred percent, do not want to. Okay, and then like I had mentioned, also I would like some fire bats to defend against Zerg. So let's get more fire bats or a couple fire bats at least. And we need SCVs. Uh, I need to focus more on my economy, I think, at this point, and then start getting upgrades. But it, it would pay off more if we could just get a get a second base. So that's kind of why I'm focused on that. It's a little dangerous over here because if the Protoss do manage to land a unit, well, we're in trouble. Not that big of a deal, but still. Okay, unload here. The Zerg have not attacked us. I'm happy with that. Got some more fire bats. We'll make more Marines. And SCVs, please. And I need to just start level one. I'm driving myself crazy by not getting it. Let's get this SCV out of here, though. Gas will be the long-term thing here. I still don't know what I want to do. I'll be honest, there's a temptation to make, like, mass wraiths and mass fire bath, fire bats, like 100 supply of each, something like that. That'd be really weird, and I kind of want to do it. I would be lying to myself if I, uh... If I wasn't honest about that. 
Let's just get more Marines. I would like to get U-238 shells, and then we're going to move up into that next area. Actually, let's get a couple medics, and then U-238 shells, and more SCVs. Okay, again, I think we have more than enough defense here. Let's just go ahead and siege up. There's an SCV here. Unload him here. I'll make another turret here. The idea is if they do drop, uh, my tank is protected by these turrets so that zealots can't rush on top of him. He's he's safe where he is, right? Okay, next, another depot. Again, one of the most interesting starts to a mission that I've seen, that's for sure. Um, let's get a commsat station. I'd like to scan where we're going, so... I don't want to get ahead of myself. There's a lot to do on this map. There's a lot of things you have to do, so I don't want to rush it. Just unload this guy here. Got the Valkyries. I mean, again, we'll take them with us when we attack, but I don't see much of a purpose of them, to be honest. I guess there's there's Protoss air units, but typically it's, it's about Mutalisks and maybe some Scourge, so I don't know what the big deal is. Okay, so this is where we want to go. There are some Protoss units here. We should be able to destroy them fairly easily with uh, with tanks. I don't see a Reaver or anything. We just have to find the ramp and get up there. So let's go. There will be enemy Reavers. I'm not looking forward to that. I hate them. Okay, so let's move on up here. We're going to start sieging down the buildings, and then we'll cover them with our... Marines and medics. And I've got the fire bats here pretty much just to put inside bunkers when it's time to do so. Okay. They do not have us out upgraded. I'm actually surprised about that. No, 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 no. Okay, well, whatever. We only need one fire bat, realistically. Okay, let's grab more SCVs at home and then bring another one up here to start building a command center. You guys move on in. We've got the starport. I think we're going to want to get a science facility pretty quick. Just throw it down over there. I do plan on making a couple battle cruisers. I do plan on it. And the reason is mostly just to cover me and to snipe Reavers when the time is happening. So the, the Protoss are reacting. They're mad at us. I don't know what I expected. We lost a tank. It's not the end of the world. They're going to continue to attack us, though, as long as this is alive, as long as this building is alive. The medic should protect us. Okay, let's go ahead and get plus two, or plus one, rather. Okay, please kill this. Once this is gone, it will stop aggravating them and, and have them not attack us anymore. Okay, so get this started. Make more SCVs. Bring SCVs up here, because we need to set up powerful defense in this whole area, unfortunately. Okay, because the Protoss can come to us from pretty much any direction. Move another one up here. We're going to get a bunker here. We need more tanks, so we're going to make some tanks. We'll use those to push out later anyway. The quadruple armory is tempting. I kind of want to make this area my main base. Once we mine this all out, we don't need to hold on to this area for any particular reason. So, um, Let's get a second engineering bay. Let's get Caduceus Reactor. Let's load this up. And I just need more SCVs, I think, up coming up in this direction to build stuff. Okay. And we need now the tanks to make their way up here. So we're short on money. The, you know, the good thing is, is that we're spending it. We have money and we're spending it. That's the most important thing. And I'll probably get quadruple armory again. We're going to need tons and tons and tons and tons of gas. There's plenty of gas on this geyser. We just need to get in the position to harvest it by having enough workers there. Again, our main base is pretty well defended. Let's move a science vessel up here, too. We're in a fragile position right now. If they decide, if they attack us right now, we'd be in trouble. Okay. Let's go ahead and move this guy up here as well. I do expect the Zerg side to get hit the hardest, so I'm going to set up the defenses over here primarily. Not enough minerals. Okay, let's get another commsat station. Yes, sir. And, you know, we don't need a factory up here right now, so I'm not going to worry about it. The Protoss shouldn't be able to... I mean, they have to attack up this ramp, so I'm less, I'm not as worried about Reavers for that particular reason. That's, very, that's a very good thing. 
Siege up there. And now we just need to make boatloads of SCVs. This seems to be mining pretty well. I think we're fully saturated on the gas, if, if, on, if only slightly undersaturated, so that's fine. Okay, SCV time. We're getting close to, I think, where we need to be to start spiraling out of control with what we need, but who knows? I mean, the enemy could hit us with extremely overwhelming forces. So just in case, we'll load up another bunker here. I think air attacks are what frighten me the most, which means we don't need that. We mostly just need to protect the tanks that we do have. Next. Okay, here comes some mutalisks. You know what? Speak of the devil, it's happening. This is about what I expected. This is why we just need to get a bunch of missile turrets up and then we'll repair what we've got. Okay, looking good. And then we'll just, again, set up just a couple turrets to just sit in the front here and kind of wall off our tanks. Zerg worries me less. Defilers can be really annoying, but otherwise it's really not a problem. Famous last words. We can just spam SCVs to come up here as well. We're going to need gas in the long run, so that's why I'm going to move more SCVs on this geyser. We're going to hotkey our comset station. We could nuke again. It's expensive, and I just don't... I don't know. I'm not really feeling it, to be honest. I don't think it's the right choice. I don't think it's the right choice. Okay. Looking good. Can make some infantry to sit up here, too. Never mind. We need depots. Basically, I can't afford to let this base go down. I've, uh... I spent, I spent a lot of money to fortify it where it is now, so let's just save. And we need depots, so let's just set these up over here. Okay, and I don't think they're... I don't think they're getting through anytime soon. We just need to get upgrades as fast as possible. So let's start level two infantry. And then we've got more SCVs coming out from both of our command centers rallying up properly. This base isn't even getting attacked. I'm actually surprised at how easy the enemy is on us right now. It's like a, like a semi joke. They're not really bothering with us right now at all. Okay, I'd like to set up my armories now. down here keep making supply depots and yeah again what this really does is it gives us a, a nice front where we could set up more buildings production structures here if we wanted but we don't need them got a nice spot here for another factory or barracks and then room up here probably for another factory and uh, now we're cooking with gas let's go ahead and grab a physics lab I, I kind of want to nuke but I don't really want to nuke I don't know I've already done it twice it has shown me how effective it can be, but I just don't feel the necessity to do it right now. I don't know what's up with this uh, engineering bay. I lifted it off and landed it, and now it doesn't have the little blinky lights. Let's get restoration just in case. Physics lab is coming up. We're going to start building a couple battle cruisers. It's primarily just to look out for Reavers, to be honest. That's literally the only reason. Oh, great. Okay. Well, I wanted to do all my... Uh, my upgrades in tandem, but now I'm gonna now they're they're gonna be all out of sync. Thanks, SCV. That's fine. I'm not willing to wait. I'll I'll get what I can. Charon booster is pretty non-negotiable upgrade. It's too good to not have. Uh, what we can do is start scanning our way in the direction that we need to go. There's a nice base right here, but it's kind of exposed. I don't think we need a second base. We can fight through the warp gate. Or we can go around it. I think... I think. There might not be a ramp down here. There is not. So we have to get up here, which means we have to fight through the warp gate area. The Zerg have already kind of taken care of it to the point where we can easily walk up this ramp. The Zerg could flank us when we decide to attack, though, which would cause us big problems. Is this, It's really feeling like a nice mass tank... A mass tank type... Uh, type matchup here. Let's just go ahead and irradiate this because we didn't have, uh... Nice. Kill that defiler before it could plague. Okay, this is going pretty well. And then let's go ahead and get our ship plating. You guys keep mining. And I'm thinking maybe we do the rest of our depots down here. I don't know. There's just not enough space. Over here, probably. Is exposed over here, though, that's for sure. We can probably build one or two up here. 
They're blocked. Go ahead, HQ. Okay, Colossus Reactor, and then queue up like three battle cruisers. I'm pretty confident that's all we really need. Of battle cruisers, at least. Let's do a mech build. Uh, not a lot of infantry. They're just gonna get stormed to death anyway, so let's do a, a tank crawl. It'll be fun. Okay, I think that was level three. I, we will make marines and medics, but I think we want to focus mostly on tanks. I don't think I, I had the ball of tanks necessary in the last mission to allow me to really start smashing through this stuff. So let's just get all of our upgrades, you know, do our thing. Making our way downtown. The Zerg don't seem to be attacking the Protoss. Why do the Protoss get a free pass? Uh, I guess, again, we want to keep an eye out. This area right here is just asking to be nuked, to be honest. But we may not have the opportunity to. Man, now I do really want to nuke. It's like once we build the battle cruisers, we don't really need the science facility. We don't need the, uh... We don't need the, uh, physics lab anymore. That's why it's really, really tempting. The Protoss are pretty afraid. You can tell they're scared. They're, they're like inching in. They're like, should we, do we want to, I don't think we want to, this is a little scary. This guy's got a lot of stuff. I don't think we're going to, I'd be nervous too. UED coming at you. I'm not sure. I, I like to imagine the, the AI is futilely trying to drop Reavers on us and we're shutting them down. Okay. Well, we've got these tanks too. Just siege them up here while we wait. Yeah, you can. Uh, let's get at least one up here. Can chase down guardians. I would just like to start Yamato gun. There we go. Plus three on its way. That's all fine. Now eh, let's just spend the money and get started on the next level. Uh, yeah. See, we're in that we're in that point in the game where we can't really make a great move until you have some real solid, something real solid. And to be honest, we don't. Let's go ahead and do this here. We will get the we will nuke at least once or twice though, because I you know I feel like I've I've really stumbled upon the joy of nuking in this game. I never used to. Uh, now I have, and I'm very happy with it. Ship plating. That was good timing for me to be looking at that at that moment, because let's be honest, and probably in nine out of ten situations, gonna miss that happening in front of my very eyes. Let's keep getting tanks and then start getting some Goliaths. We're just gonna leave them right here. Okay, nuke silo. Cloaking. We don't necessarily need sight range, but it would be good. If we, if we could nuke here and here, that would be incredible. It would be absolutely incredible. And on that note, I think we'll just grab another command center so we can do it twice. Let's grab two ghosts. And the Zerg have primarily been leaving us alone. I'm actually shocked at how uh, how reasonable this has been compared to the last mission. The last mission's got that whole battle cruiser and or ghost. Uh, well, it's always the ghost lockdown, but sometimes the new gimmick to it. So, you know, it's fine either way. Let's, uh, you know, we just got to wait for these ghost upgrades. We're going to use a ghost to nuke here and here. And then we're going to sweep in with ground forces the rest of the way. It's going to be, it's going to be glorious. Research complete. Okay, let's grab a couple more medics. Eh, actually, we don't need many more medics. Let's just get more marines. Firebat's not a bad choice when you've got a, a bunch of zealots breathing down your neck. Starting to get some nukes. Upgrade complete. Just need, you just need room for a couple more depots. We don't even need that many more. Okay, that's done. Plus three done is ra rather plus three is done. See, getting to nukes takes too much time. If, if getting to nukes didn't take as long as it did then we'd be out there nuking our brains out. And let these guys build up a little energy as well. I guess, see, the thing is I underestimated, or rather I overestimated the AI and expected much more powerful attacks. They never came. So now we're just sitting with a large army that we don't necessarily need when I could have gone straight to nukes so that we could push through this area and then the Stargates. Uh, and, you know, it happens. It's fine. Get a few more ghosts, I suppose, because they're fun and goofy and typically not what people use as part of an army composition. So we'll do it. We'll get a couple uh, turrets up here to discourage the Protoss from dropping right on top of us. Nuclear missile is ready. Why not 
why not just come on up here and drop this? Okay. Plus three time. Hopefully the Zerg don't attack us at this very moment, because the Overlords obviously give them basically free vision. This is dangerous. They might have an Observer here. I can't quite see any rippling on there. Shit! Damn it. Okay, that's fine. Let's remake it. Remake both of these. I have some more ghosts coming out. I thought we could get away with it. Oh, you know what? Ocular Implants isn't done yet. That's why. I was wondering. I'm like, man, I thought I'd be far enough away, but I guess I'm not. We do have a very large army in general, though. Granted, a lot of our supplies currently in nukes. <laughs> so not the smartest thing. Okay. Uh, Ocular Implants is now done. We don't need that. I'd much rather get plus three ship plating so that our battle cruisers that we have are three, 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 or rather just three, three. <laughs> the uh, the ATS, ATA, whatever, whatever, whatever. Nuclear missile. Let's go. I need these two things to finish so that I can have the time of my life. Now we just need. We're just gonna make Marines to add on to support. I think the Protoss. Yeah. So this is semi what I expected. They can't quite get to us. Okay, now they can. Just hang on, Mr. Tank. Okay, well, that was bound to happen. I know he, he can't see us, but it's just kind of silly. Okay, now we can get Mobius Reactor. Nuclear missiles are done. Here we go. We're coming on up here. And we're going to go with everything, really. We're going to sit at the top of this ramp. Okay, come on up here. You're gonna cloak. And you're gonna nuke right there. That should take out this cluster. We're gonna nuke again right behind it to start whittling away at the air units that are here and then also any, uh, any of the Stargates. There's a random encampment in the middle of this map. That's weird. We want to have a bit of a, a stronghold in this area right now. Okay, now continue. We're gonna nuke right here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about, rebuild the nukes. I gotta say, again, I'm like rediscovering how awesome nukes can be in these situations. If this lands, we're in great shape. We're in great shape, let's go. We've done it. Okay, back up, buddy. Decloak. We're just gonna rally from this location all the way over here. Marines. The Protoss don't know what to do. They're just confused. Let's leapfrog a couple tanks. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Ooh, chase him down. Okay, good. He almost got up there. We got Zerg coming in. Never been more happy to make, uh, make fire bats in my life. Okay, plus three is done. Not ship plating, though. Thanks, SCV. You have a rippling impact on the success of this campaign. Thank you. Start, start inching up. Okay, we got another nuke. I'm thinking we do a little scouting to see exactly what we want to nuke. I don't have lockdown. I probably should get that. Let's do this again. There we go. Remake the nukes. Get more ghosts, I guess. And we should get locked down for carriers and scouts and whatever. I'm really doing a, like a ghost-heavy type thing here. We can get these Valkyries up here now, too. Just don't need them anymore. Decloak. Unsiege. We're moving up. Up into the next section. Uh, okay, EMP him. Quick, quick, quick. Okay, we got him. Didn't quite get the uh, the Archon, but that's okay. Oh, Jesus. Okay, this is so dangerous with these with these just wandering High Templars. Come on. Okay, it doesn't matter. We got the uh, we got the shields gone. All right, we got to start pushing towards, towards the actual command center. This has been noticeably less challenging than the last mission. That is for sure. 
Okay, we're cleaning all this out. It doesn't even seem like they're building out of these stargates. They're scared because of all the, uh, the massive, massive damage we did with nukes. They're like, why even bother? I, that's, that's what I would say, too. Okay, got another nuke. Let's move on up and use it. Is there anything up there? No. So we're gonna do right there. Mmm. Oh, it looks good. Oh, it looks good, doesn't it? Meanwhile, let's start inching up. Oh, run away. Come on. Oh, baby. Let's keep moving, moving forward, doing the same thing. They keep making more Archons here. That's actually fine with me. Right there. Don't storm me, please. Don't storm me, bro. I haven't even seen a psionic storm this map yet. I'm kind of surprised. Siege it up. We're going to move on in. Nuke. Nice. Okay. We decloak. We move in. We clean them up. Just keep, just keep moving in. Uh, the High Templars scare me, but they're not storming. Maybe because like we we've, we've killed enough of them that the new ones that are spawning just don't have the energy to do anything. That's what I'm suspecting. Okay, we're pretty far up. It's going to be very challenging to reinforce with anything at this point, so we need to be careful. Got to try to keep this stuff alive. Constantly going to be taking hits on these tanks. We had a bunch of tanks. We lost a bunch of tanks. Okay. Get moving. We don't have another nuke. I, get, I mean, when all, when all else fails, we just make more nukes. We can rally up with Marines maybe from this location. It's going to be hard to get up here. Lost another tank, man. That's rough. Okay, we're very close. There's the command center. We don't really have to be killing all this production, but I'm being, just being extra careful in case there's some powerful spellcasters or something that might be up here. Okay. And I, I do need more... I just need more infantry or something to make its way up here. Granted, we are right there, so we could almost just Yamato it and win. Let's move up with our tanks. We do have defense matrix. Once this, once this second set of nukes is done, we can just use that to win. I guess this was just like a use nukes to win situation. We depower their tech, even though it still counts as tech when it's depowered, I'm pretty sure. Okay. I, I feel bad because these are the Protoss that were left behind who couldn't make it to Shakuras. That's who we're killing right now. Yep, Jim Rayner, you're getting nuked. You are getting nuked. Don't I have another one? I thought I had another ghost in here. It doesn't matter. He's probably hidden under here somewhere. But he's going down. Actually, we might get him with this nuke. Yeah, we did. don't show any zerg at all maybe you have a technical problem with your equipment lieutenant if these zerg get through we'll never be able to capture mensk i'm giving you a direct order to return to your position and reinforce my troops oh i'm sorry sir but it seems your signal's fading out i couldn't make out that last part i'll try to re-establish contact later Durant. Position will be overrun by superior Zerg numbers within 15 minutes. I suggest you retreat back to the fleet immediately. Inform Admiral Dukal that I have a personal matter to take care of. Alright, uh, we're running. We're not going to survive against it. Well, maybe. I don't know. We smoked them! They've been smoked! 
The UED reigns supreme. But the fugitives still escape, thanks to Duran and his duplicity. We'll, uh, maybe do something about that next time, or perhaps, uh, not, not quite what we were expecting, unfortunately. But hey, that went great. Uh, I like this mission a lot. I feel it's unique. You've got the two factions that are fighting each other. Uh, nothing like flipping Emperor's Fall. Again, worst mission. Worst mission in StarCraft ever. Okay, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye now.